This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Board Game Patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora koutou and welcome to Cartographers in about 3 minutes. Review copy used collector's edition. It has a solo mode. It's a game for one to any number of players. Playing time is short and it's a pretty simple game. You are a cartographer. An intrepid map maker working for the Queen. She has sent you and your peers out to map the Northern Realms. Can you return with the most accurate and interesting maps of the land? The game ends after four seasons, each of which are scored separately. The winner is the player with the most points at the end of the game. Roll and write. Well, in this case, flip and fill. You turn over a card and all players simultaneously act on it. Tile placement and set collection. You want to draw patterns on your player sheet that score points based on the objectives. Player turn. Place the four letter cards in the middle of the table, along with the objective stacks. Shuffle each stack and assign one card from each pile randomly to a letter card. These are the objectives for this game. There are four rounds of play. The first is spring, which will last for eight times, as shown in its top left corner. The objectives under the A and B letter cards will be scored. You will then play each subsequent season, scoring a different pair of objectives until all have been scored twice. The two objectives for our sample round of play are Sleepy Valley, which scores green tiles in rows of three, and Gnomish Colony, which scores red tiles in isolated clusters of four. Each player grabs a sheet and writes their name on it, then turn over a card. Its time cost is shown in the top left, and the card has the colors you can pick at the top and the shape you draw at the bottom. This card is any color, but only one square. So we draw a red square. The next card has two shapes, which must be red. We draw the rightmost shape. This one is either green or blue, and we choose green and draw it on our map. You can draw shapes in any orientation. So here we flip the shape around and draw it. We finish off the round by choosing this blue shape and this yellow one. The yellow one surrounds this mountain tile, which gives us a coin on the track at the bottom of the sheet. Coins score points every round. That's all eight time used, so we now score points. Sleepy Valley gives us eight points, as we have two rows with three green tiles. And Gnomish Colony six points for our one cluster of four here. Add one point for our coin, and that's 15 total points. Some other notes. If the shape you draw has a coin beside it, add that coin to your coin row. After the first round, heroes and monsters will enter the draw deck. A monster is placed by an opponent on your map, and for each adjacent empty space at the end of your turn, you will lose one point. Heroes take up one square, but kill monsters in the other spaces shown on their card. Here our hero kills off three of the troll squares. Keep playing through the four rounds until you have a very full sheet like one of these. Why would you like this game? Roll and Riots and Flip and Fills are not my jab. With a few exceptions, they feel like getting your friends together to do math homework and silence more than a game. Cartographers is one of those exceptions, and it's largely due to the objectives changing each game, making the puzzle different to solve each time. That combined with its comparatively short playtime, changing scoring, and a little bit of interaction and planned derailment from the monster cards make it more than just math homework. This version of the game ships with additional modules, such as the skill system here, as well as three different map packs with their own special rules and challenges to solve. All up, if you want to try the flip and fill genre, Cartographers is an excellent place to start. The uh, best thing about this game is it comes with dinky colored pencils, and that's fun. Well, except the yellow one, that thing's useless. However, even with the monster attacks, 90% of the game is staring at your sheet trying to figure out where to place a geometric shape for optimum points. If you hunger for a noisy interactive experience, this ain't it. And the game does move at the pace of the slowest player, which could be frustrating in larger groups. If you like simple math homework, try Ganshan Clever. And for a more complex option, try Hadrian's Wall. Cartographers. I'd be a terrible map drawer, just look at this rubbish. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. 